We're family. Somos una familia. So once again, it's good. I love you. I mean, I, I, I'm tired sometimes when I go home, but then I'm re-energized because I felt like that I have actually made a difference. Some kind of way, small or whatever, I've made a difference. My name is Walter August Jr. and I am the senior pastor of Bethel's Family Baptist Church in the southwest side of Houston. Heavenly Hands is our social arm uh, that impact uh, the city of Houston to make sure, number one, no family ever go to bed hungry. That's number one. This neighborhood is a food desert. So when I, when I say a food desert, there's no grocery stores within two mile radiuses. And number two is to provide a support system uh, during those times when uh, tragedies happen. We know that there are people who are gonna have those gaps in their budget, have those gaps in their lives, so we are here to fill those gaps as well. I lost my job two years ago. Heavenly Hand become that uh, stabilizer. So I'm starting coming here every two weeks to get something for my kids and me, because I'm a alone mother. I have four kids. To help balance out the needs in the, of the people in our community. This food is helping me a lot for because I have food in my fridge for my kids and me. So the church become what the church is supposed to be, and that's the stabilizer to help families. And that's what Bethel's family and Bethel's Heavenly Hand have been doing for 29 years. In here we have our Bethel's Heavenly Hand, which is our food pantry, and uh, we also do rental assistance. We have uh, Blessed Again, which is our thrift store, where we'll sell either gently used and some donated new items that we'll, we'll be able to sell to be able to purchase the food to help the individuals that are coming through the line. We also have a full service commercial kitchen, which feeds our school and also feeds our community, but it also takes care of all of our volunteers. The challenges that are always there is that there are never enough resources. Well, there is a food shortage, so we're having a, a tough time getting a large variety of things, especially dry goods. This is every week, and so more resources are needed, more financial resources are needed, more prayer, of course, as well, and more manpower volunteers. We are 90% volunteer run and we're 90% uh, privately funded. Well, the food pantry in itself, we serve over 12,000 people every month. We, today, we had a, a light day. We only had about 750 cars today. We only had about 300 walkers. We are not zip code restricted. All you have to do is come in with a photo ID. We'll get you signed up and then we'll be able to get your food every two weeks. I said, when I retire, I'm gonna to have to do something at the church. The people that serve the cars, the people that work and build the bags and build the boxes, those are volunteers and they are just amazing. Without them, we can't do any of this. And I said, well, I wanna do what I've always done. I wanna do something that I think will help. I know that there's always going to be people who need some assistance. There are a lot of people that really need what the church is providing. There's always going to be people who have gaps in their lives that need to be filled. The people that I work with here all have one, one agenda and that is to feed everyone. We're not here just to give out food all the time. We're here to give out hope. Jesus reminds us is that when I was hungry, you fed me. Uh, when I was naked, you clothed me. Uh, I like to lay my head on my pillow each and every night, uh, thinking that we've done our level best to meet the needs of those people based on what we've had. And I guarantee you, if you come in and watch us for one hour, you'll want to be a part of what's going on here, because God is moving here and people are being served and helped right here at Bethel's Heavenly Hands at the Church of Bethel's Family.